so far so I was gonna go with uh, designer of my own catastrophe okay so we have Emily talking to us and <laughs> um, last chapter we had to come up with nicknames for each other and I was able to type out what I wanted my nickname to be and I just typed big sexy so the game is now uh, putting that back at me which is just wonderful we're off to a great start and then I can't remember what her name start by talking to Emily. Um, hello. Hello. How are you? Um, pretty good. You? I think tab, yeah, tab is switch right there. I'm grand. Okay, why are we typing like idiots right now? Are you? Manchester Orchestra this morning. It's a pretty emo song. Freaking sick. I love this that they made this. This little fake YouTube. Ah, oh, Red Jumpsuit Emperor. It's cool. Um, so we gotta click it. Click it and then stop it because that's actually not allowed. You won't be able to hear it, but that almost blew my ears out. Okay. Um, I actually know the song and it's a pretty sad song. Still good. But it's still good. I remember those days. Come on. Why are you lis lis listening to it? Are we all drunk? 
seven this video having a hundred million views seems inaccurate to me. I don't think anything had a hundred million views I could do of seven. YouTube was like pretty new then. A hundred million views that's a lot. But what do I know? Um I know them. Thanks for the music. Hey, thanks for the music. I'm just feeling snowing out. Do you like snow? Also, I should mention, if you hear, like, PlayStation controller sounds in the background, my wife's playing Minecraft behind me, so you're gonna get some of those sounds coming through as well. So you got controllers, keyboards, mouse, whispering. You got all of it, alright? That's how we do things around here. Uh, while it's selling out, do you like snow?
just how heck everything is. Lol. What's going on? Take do I have two friends being vague and not having a good time? Yeah, I just, it's still a mess in my head. I might just need to vent about it. Talk to me. Gosh darn, I shouldn't have to ask so many times. Do you actually want to talk about it? I mean, while you're drunk. such a stupid I haven't told about it yet. Tell me for the love of God. It's been like 20 minutes. Oh great. Okay. So you just have to keep this. Oh. What? I can't tell if this is just a creative way to like make the story interesting. Have you like have some parallels here or if these are two things going to be connected. What if Steve is now dating Emily? Or what if it's just like two totally different Speed run, and then we're gonna look afterwards at what we said. I don't know, it 
just going to sound stupid. Break up someone's hair. What do you say? <laughs> God, this is so mean. Sorry for the aggressive typing sounds. At first, I might have first. Okay. So you stuck it out.
stuff. That's so insane. I like it's getting too hard to tell whose messages are whose right now. Wait. It made me really angry and I think I started yelling at him. That makes me angry too, honestly. You don't get to just do that. Yeah, it turned into an unproductive conversation really quick. I eventually just left.
actually feeling a lot better about the whole thing. Um, good, I'm glad. Meanwhile, I don't know, this might be helpful to say, but I'm so excited to break up and move on. This is such like a, like a backhanded, snarky comment. Like saying you deserve better is kind of like saying
just need to play some good ones. Okay, I need to get into bed like now. Okay, uh, there we go. Oh, miss you. Damn. Big sexy. Yeah. Uh, good night. Chillin'. Okay, that's gotta be the end of chapter three. Emily's away. Achievement unlocked. You can now sign out. Spring 2007, so now it's been, at the end of this chapter, it'll have been one year of stuff, because it's the last of season. For what if we lose, like at you or at me, it's not always ourselves, we find in the sea. Emily's face milk. It's the uh, Facebook of this uh, world, just in case you figure that out. April 22nd. Hey, that's my cat's birthday. Okay, uh, Boondocks, Link Park, Minutes to Midnight, man, let's go. Okay, Link Park. Oh, dog. They're gonna make me choose between Spider Man and Hot Fuzz 300. I don't think I had actually seen Hot Fuzz yet in 2007, but we're gonna do Hot Fuzz. He's made himself judge, jury, and executioner. I'm getting less edgy right now. I've got like kind of a girlfriend. Um, I've grown up to the point where I'm listening to Minutes to Midnight and not a screamo, although there is eh, whatever. I adore you. Yeah. Let's be cheesy. Hey, best wait. What the hell happened? Super vague. Quick, what should I draw? Draw me something psychedelic and monster. Don't draw me, that's cheesy. Just draw a monster. Joke's on you, I'm a freaking monster. I think I can manage that. I really like this glass. Glad it fit into my spring semester.
this. I just really want to thank you. Oh, okay, good. For helping with chat drama this past winter. I really needed you and you were there for me. You would do the same. There really should just be a no you option for every for every situation. Of course I would have, but really. What you up to, huh? Your advice to tell someone about what Jeff said. And so I just myself was invaluable. I guess I did that well. Because I imagine this is where this could have gone wrong. You know, she's like, hey, I remember when you told me to call the police. Well, it didn't go well. Or you told me to do, uh, just keep dating him. Like, the, or the other options there were like, I feel like their outcome here could have been a lot different. Um, what happened to Jeff? is going so well. But enough about that. I just wanted to say it meant a lot to me. Glad I could help. They could call me a hero, but just call me the captain. Just call me Big Sexy. You're truly such a great person. Like, I feel like I really know you. Like, I feel like I really know you. And you really know me. You're good, too. <laughs> I feel the same. stupid reasons, like we have different tastes in games, but it's really actions that matter, not stupid stuff like that. Couldn't say for myself, people can have my opinions. Couldn't say it better myself. I thought, since you only played Sims 2, that we weren't going to work out, but look at us go. And different can be even better. I'm just really happy that we're there. no artist, but uh, you know what, we like her anyway. It's a monster, are you scared? That's an easy A plus right there. Man, what kind of class is this? Turns out I'm an artist too. That was my last bit of homework. Now I can go to bed. And believe me, are you really tired? I don't want to like talk her out of it. I'm this cutesy phase to kind of, I know this is tiny, kind of the goal of the game, but this chapter's been very uneventful. I just can't wait to super comfy one of those under some covers. I want to be warm. That does sound nice. That does sound nice. I'm still scared about what she's going to do. I know. I love this. 
scripted to just like it's scripted for a worse like like it's reacting to me if I had played that a lot worse but there is no script for me playing it how I did because I made it through so much of the messages and I only missed one like barely but it's acting like I'm I just took like an hour to respond to a very important message like I made it through so much conversation and then it finally just I just probably missed one, and it's like, now she's acting like, even after all this time, that I still was not there for her, you know, that's just kind of annoying, but I can see this being the outcome for if you play that part a lot worse than I did, but I probably played it about as good as you possibly can, because I was literally just like, punching my keyboard, um, I thought you'd be there for me, I don't know, I just couldn't.
was no, it was April, wasn't it? High school's almost over. But yeah, it's already I've met some new friends though. One of them I think you know pretty well. Uh oh. your best friend, Emily Lowell. She's really swell. Okay, we're gonna just be straightforward here. Actually, she's my girlfriend now. Uh, she's my girlfriend. Wow, that's awesome. Hey, wow, is she actually gonna be chill? Yeah, she talks about you sometimes. It's clear, not just friends. Yeah, how do you know her? When do you two like class this semester she just said to me one day and Emily didn't want to mention it. Some of Steve's friends are in that class so it's really nice of her.
as for uh, Avalon, but Emily hasn't mentioned it. You're just a truly great person. Like, I feel like I really know you, and you really know me. How's this gonna go? Blow up in our faces, boys. It's June. Show me a lot about you. What? 
Sorry, that's all the only options they gave me, all right? Oh, heck. I do understand you. No, you don't. You lied just to get close to me. Come on, that was a year ago. Is this such a common phrase in this game? It's like you do one thing wrong and everyone's like, I don't even know who you are anymore. It doesn't matter that we have years of history and that we've been dating for months. I don't even know who you are anymore. It doesn't count for anything. I'm the same as before. You even said these stupid details that don't matter. I guess that's kind of a bad response. I said it's actions. That'd be what she wanted to hear. Let me explain it to you. I'm not some mastermind, not trying to on purpose. Yeah, I mean, I was just messing around. Just deflecting your question, that's kind of actually. Let's 
just to say you were manipulative by accident. Who knows how many times you've accidentally <laughs> manipulated. I knew that was good. I was just going to say. I would never. It wasn't manipulation. I would never and would never manipulate you. I wonder if there's even a way to win this, you know? It just seems like the game has decided that I lose because the game is impossible to win. Big sexy to you. Don't. I didn't hide them for you, I just think they were important. There are no more. That's the truth. Alright, let's go emo. Actually, no. How do you expect me to believe anything you say now? Bills with time. Remember how we were. No, I feel like I gotta... Oh, we need to still wait. No, no, no. That's not a, a good way to work, that friend. All we gotta do is wait, girl. Yeah, it can. Don't know what I do without you. Start to sound like Jeff. You're my favorite.
like supposed to actually be like mildly psychotic because it was like maniac behavior. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just being bad, but I feel like this is like very unrealistic human behavior. I'm like like I said I don't even know if I want this to work out but I just want to see if that is even possible.
also do, but just talking to you is making me so upset. Maybe sleep on it. Now where comes the part where it starts like changing what I'm typing? I have at the end of the last game. I really don't think so, no, I won't change anything. I'm tired of being a relationship where I feel manipulated. Maybe she's just had flashbacks to Jeff, but I feel like Jeff was a billion times worse. I'm not breaking up. Yeah, just do what Jeff did. Just scream no. Let's just try to stay together for a bit. If you want, I can take your advice from this winter. Oh, don't. Stop. Just like this in Minnesota the next month. Sappy. No. Feel bad, Emily. Here we go. Here's the punch to the gut. Just do it. Yep. Thanks for that. You can go die, Evelyn. Oh, that's, there's no more with that. Okay, well, uh, game is over, guys. if there's a good ending, you know, because this, okay, now I'm going to be a nerd, but this percentage right here, 38.6, that doesn't really divide into anything, like if it was 33% chance, I'd say, oh, then there's three different endings, right, if it was like 20% chance, I'd say, oh, there's five different endings, but 38 implies that there's like what, like a very odd number, like 11 endings, or, you know, nine endings, or something like that which is more than just a few. So now I'm curious. Um, you had 50.4% talked to Emily. That's confusing. Is there an option to not talk to Emily? And why haven't half of the people not talked to Emily? The game is called Emily. Is why 91% were more than friends. Weird to think that there's an option to just not even go there. Like what kind of game is this? You just chat with your friends for five hours and then you call it a night? Feel not as I gone. This is just other people that play the game. I don't know. Thank you for playing. Okay. Well, I feel like we should recap my thoughts about this game because I really liked the first one, but the first one didn't really have any other endings. There was really just one ending, and that was. She felt like you took advantage of her and broke up with you, basically. And there's probably different ways that she could feel hurt, but basically, no matter what, your relationship was very short. You didn't actually get into a relationship, you just kind of expressed interest, and then she was like, ah, maybe not, bye. And this game, they kind of did the same thing, but they really threw you for a loop in chapter four. And I'm down for that. Like, I like the idea of, if they get you kind of emotionally invested in the characters to where I was really frustrated at the end, like, in a real kind of way, where I was like, come on, Emily, don't do this. Like, this is ridiculous. But I was mostly mad at the game because I feel like we really played it pretty well all the way through. And things were going so well, and it really just wasn't a big enough deal to believe that that's actually how that would go, you know? Like, I 
I lied to Evelyn in chapter one, okay, a year prior to this, about a small little detail, totally easily explainable, just kind of, you know, didn't really think much of it, and it ultimately made us have a horrible ending to the game. Everything else in here, we played very well, and it kind of feels bad, not in the right way, that we got that kind of an ending. Like, if I played the game really, like, irresponsibly and was just kind of a jerk, then, like, yeah, that's a fair ending to get. But playing it as well as I did with one teensy little thing wrong, it's like, well, now I want to go back and play without doing that teensy thing wrong and see if you can actually, like, stay together in the end. But I don't really, don't really want to go through all that again, just for, just to see the difference, you know? I'll just Google it, probably. So, overall, it is a fun game. I love the concept of this kind of a game where the whole game is minimalistic and it's just chatting with friends, but I really was not happy with the direction they went between chapters 4 and 5. It felt like a huge cop-out, being like, yeah, chapter 4, you guys are together. Chapter 5, you and Evelyn are chatting again. Also, she just messed up your whole relationship, and your girlfriend broke up with you all within the span of, like, 20 minutes. Not really, not really a fan of that. Um, seems like, I don't know, maybe it's just a, a side effect of writing a game with multiple paths and endings is that they can't all feel genuine. You know, it might have just been how they lined things up. Maybe the game, maybe the game's decision happened this early on, where as soon as I lied to Evelyn, that was just like the game already knew I was going to lose the game, and that this was just like a waste of time because I had lost back in chapter one. Like that feels bad. That that's not that's not good game design to me. So I don't mean to trash talk the game. I think the game's still great. It's a super creative idea. Props to the creator of the game for creating a nice emotional experience. I think that just the path I got was very unpleasing and uh, not in the right way. Like, I'm down to feel, like, kind of bummed at the end of this, because I was pretty bummed at the end of the first one, but this is the wrong kind of bummed. This is like a bummed in a, that doesn't make sense to me, not like a, oh man, I really messed up. So, anyway. Um, good game, though. Uh, they're making a third one that's more like social media-based rather than Instant Messenger, so when that comes out, I will give that a play. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it took me like a couple weeks to get this second part out, so hopefully uh, it was worth the wait. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is your captain, Senia. Good night, guys.